what am I talking about now? Um, my other video I was talking about being encouraged. I am talking about now I'm talking about um, how a person um, how does a person know if they're transsexual? Okay. Um, I can only speak about my half. I can't speak about anybody else. Um, when with me I always knew I was different. I always knew I was unique. Um, I always knew that it was something there, you know, that 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 I just didn't identify with the norm. What people thought was the norm, quote unquote, you know. But um for me, um I had you know, I had little girlfriends and stuff like like very few girlfriends. We didn't do nothing, I uh uh. <laughs> we didn't do anything, but um, but I knew that I was not attracted to a girl like that. Like I knew I could be friends with them, but it wasn't like that because I wanted to be them. Um, and growing up here in the South, um, we just can't come out like that because people look at you like, uh, uh, you know, they, you know, they're very conservative here. They're slow. It's not like being in the city where everything's fast paced. But it's just so different they're just one simple minded you know and for me when um when I was in high school I knew especially in middle school I knew that I, I like you know I like other dudes but I really knew that I was gay when I was six but I didn't come out until I graduated from high school um but when I got out of uh, high school, um, of course, I went through all of the, you know, the denial stage and people hating on me and people saying all this mean stuff about me and not understanding who I was. Um, and when I came, when I came out, um, it was really hard because my mom, my mom, she told me, she said, you know, um, you're no longer my child. I don't own you I don't you know you're no longer my my child until you get yourself straight you're no longer my child I had my own uncle to tell me straight up in my face if I find out that you are gay I am going to take you and I'm going to beat you senseless I'm going to beat you senseless until I beat the gay out of you how do you beat the gay out of somebody why would you even say that to me like it was I like and with me, my mom raised me. My mom was both my mom and my dad. And that was hard because my dad was not even a part of my life. And then hearing from my own uncle straight up saying and people from my family was, you know, No, 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 no. You straight and you know, you're gonna have a girlfriend and and, ch and children and you know and you know, this can't be and you know, uh uh. You no, you're not my cousin, I'm gonna beat you. Like that was already turmoil. You I mean, like I was already getting criticized by people in the public. You know what I mean? And at school and and, and whatever it is. And now I'm getting criticized by my own family members. Like, what do you think that they did to me? Like that made me suppress my feelings. It made me not even trust nobody. You know? It's 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 hard, you know. But for me, I'm a very compassionate person. I'm very nice, very open-minded, and people, you know, what they go off of, they go off your image, and when they, they see you, they're just like, you know, you know, or, yeah, I can tell you this type of person, I can tell you that type of person. With me, it's like, yeah, I know you're gay, so you're not welcome here. You know, it's, it's sometimes it's just like, am I cursed, you know, and, and it, it, it really does hurt. You know, but it, you know, I really didn't discover what I really was not until I moved away from the South and I went to, um, I went to Florida and, um, I was exposed to a lot of things. It, it's a different world in Florida. It really, really is. And I was kind of skeptical and scared to kind of come out, but as the years went by, I started developing from being a feminine guy 
into this guy who felt like he was born in the wrong body. Like I, like I said, like I always knew I was unique and I was different, but I didn't know how different I was. And when I first saw my first transsexual for the first time, all that, I was like, oh my gosh, like you were so pretty. Like you couldn't tell that you were a guy, you know. And and when I started looking at myself, I said, you know what, I can identify with that because, you know, now I understand why I wasn't really attracted to girls like that or anything. Because with me, in my case, I felt like I wanted to be like them, you know. And and for me, you know, it's, it's hard, you know, because, you know, I'm not on any hormones or nothing like that. And, and I get people now that to ask, you know, they don't know if I'm a girl or a boy. Like, they don't know, you know. And to me, it shouldn't matter like you know if you want to know I'll tell you you know what I mean but it, it doesn't matter because I'm, I'm human just like anybody else you know but you know I feel like a transsexual is some it's, it's the mind thing it's not the gender thing you know what I mean um well, transsexual is the gender. The transgender is the mind. And that's what I am. I am a transgender individual. I feel like I am born in the wrong body. And I feel like I just won't be happy at all. Not until I get the operations and the hormones and all of that. Because, because um, I just, I don't. I don't feel comfortable in my own skin, you know, I, I really don't, I don't like looking at myself and, and when people say, oh, you're pretty, you're this and that or whatever, I'm like, I'm alright, you know, because I identify with the female side more than I do with my male side, you know, and for me, you know, it, it took a, a while to kind of really figure out who I really was. But now that I know, it's like, it's another obstacle, another hurdle that I have to go through to get to that, to the, to the next level, you know, and, you know, people, they, they won't understand, you know, and, and that's why I just don't, I don't get it. I don't get why people want to harm somebody for being who they want to be, no matter what it is, you know what I mean? I don't. I don't understand it. I will never understand it, you know, but, but I know that, you know, that I'm not a mistake, you know, and I know I was put on this earth for a reason, and just like me, you're put on this earth for a reason, and to those who feel the same way as I do, I want you to know that I understand exactly what you're going through. I understand the ridicule and the hatred and the stigmatizing and the labels and all of the negativity, I understand all of that, you know, I've been through that, and I'm still going through that, you know what I mean, but the only thing that keeps me level is first God, and surrounding myself around positive people, you know, that's the only way that I'm able to say, you know what, I don't care what you think about me, you know, as long as I know what I am inside, that's all that should matter, you know, but, um, I don't know, I guess, you know, all I can say with final thoughts, you know, some people think that, you know, transgender or transsexual, you know, oh, you want to be a girl, and, you know, I don't understand it. It's not meant for you to understand. You don't feel what we feel, you know what I mean? Until you walk into my shoes, until you walk into my shoes, this one step, I bet you, I bet you, you would not be able to step one foot, even last a day, a second, in my shoes. Go through the discrimination and the ridicule and all of that. You will not be able to. Until you can do that and hold your head high and don't even let what nobody say get to you and still be you, you won't understand. But to those who understand exactly what I'm feeling and go through the same ridicule and the hatred and all of that, the same looks and all of that, I say, 
I understand and I'm with you and I love you guys. I love you. Don't give up. Do not give up. Because you have a purpose and a reason on this earth. That's all I have to say. And I hope and pray that, you know, that this video motivates you and keeps you encouraged. Until then, teach us.